Holy moly, it's a big one. Oh no! Oh, this is a fine specimen here. Anyway, so yeah, I haven't been out in the ocean for a while, believe it or not. We're just going to go out and see what's out there. A bit of calamari, a bit of whiting, a bit of KG whiting. Who knows? Let's get out there and have a good day. Woo! And it's cold! Try to get a few calamari first to see if there's any. Just gonna do something that I don't used to do is put the sea anchor around the front of the boat midship. It's windy. Oh yeah, I like the position of that sea anchor. It's way out of my way. Yeah. So I'll try this jig first. It's 30 grams. If the calamari are there, they're there. Oh Right, so I don't know, it's definitely not a squid, it's a fish. It's coming up to the surface. Usually, oh, it's um, it's usually it's those bloody, what do you call them, um, northwest blowfish. I can't see because of, the, because of the sun. It's on the surface, here you go, so there's a splash. Yeah, it's a northwest blowy. Oh my god, I want him to destroy my jig. Look at him, nasty. Big one, too. My god. I've been losing a couple of jigs. Lady, I just want to get my jig back and get back in here. All right, all right. All right. Holy moly, that's a big one. Right, so the jig's been released. Oh, let's up. Uh, it's a big boy. Big northwest blowfish. It's a massive guy. There you go. Look at those teeth. Look at those mongrel teeth. Big boy. Oh, right, let him go. Oh. Yeah. Now he's going to go for the other jig. There's a lot of slime and crap all over it. Believe it or not, that shaped up pretty good. That shaped up pretty good. These uh, Harimuchis have got carbon tips and they used to snap and only one of them snapped. So that's alright. <laughs> Not the intended species. Again, I might have the first customer of the day, unless it's a bit of uh, suspended weed. Small, bit of weight. What have I got here? Oh my god. Oh, that's massive. <laughs> <laughs> there is life. Here's a beautiful small calamari. These are really nice eating. Yeah, I feel bad keeping them, but there's just nothing out here. And um, yeah, that's delicious. In fact, they're highly sought after in the shops. Wait. So, that's all right. First squid, and he went for the real big jig. Went for a big jig. Really nice ones they are. And I used some of his tentacles for fresh bait, even though they're quite small. I did bring some frozen bait. Squid that I caught as well. Just as a backup plan. Well, I started the engine and I said let's get out of here. Nice hook up here. Calamari, yeah, so they are they're not on the very big side. But still, that's terrific. What you? It's a nice one. Nice small one. Now I just have to drop down again. Um, oh, here we go. Oh, that's what you call the bottom. 
for pulling me hard or, or drying the ocean. Woo! Got drenched! Oh man, you love windy days. First things first, let's get some of our fresh bait. Straight away, I'm gonna use this little apparatus. Probably a bit too windy for this, but still heavy enough. We've got a series of assist hooks here. The good thing about this, is that I hopefully we won't get any of the uh, smaller species or the bycatchers like butterfish. Got the sea anchor out as per usual. I've got the uh, squid jig out here as well. All right, so I got got a fish. Doesn't want to come to the surface. Hopefully it's a, oh, what is he? Oh, it's a good leather jacket. All right, very nice eating fish. Get this guy out. It's not a very big fish and you do waste a lot of flesh. Let's have a look, look leather jacket. Leather jacket 25. Yeah, so he's, so he's gone 30. And I'll keep this one because I've had a few people saying, why don't you catch, keep leather jackets? Oh, that one's on. Could be a butterfish. I hope not. Oh, no, okay. He's a, uh, no. Oh. What the hell, Ras? <laughs> My God. A Ras. Right, so this was taken off. What have we got here? Tuck species? Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. Good target species. I know the fish are here. I think I might have to use the bigger hooks. It actually snapped off. It actually snapped off. Oh, that was a fish. Okay. Whoop. That's a big whiting. There's a huge whiting. So there you go. Big, nice, plump whiting. Alrighty. Another fish here. Seems to have died down. What is he? Oh, it's a flatty. Oh, yeah. Actually, not a bad flatty. Take that. Oi, it's come off. That's beautiful. It's a good size. Okay, so is it? It's a modest 35 centimetre. Nice. Oh, here we go. Oh, that did get attacked. Gonna let more line out. Actually, I think it's on. Yeah, it's on. <laughs> so he actually didn't run because I didn't strike. Hope he's a KG. Yeah, he's, he is, he is. He is. Alright. Not a huge one, but yeah. Woo. I still got it under me. <laughs> that one there's getting off. Oh, actually, actually, actually. Ow, 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 ow. Yeah, that one's on. That one's on. All right. Just got to mark this spot, I think. Now, this is a better one. Oh, this is a fine specimen here. This is a fine specimen. Woo. Definitely get the net. Take no chances. And I actually changed my rig back to the old Paternoster. Oh, come on. No way. I think I did have a. I reckon I had a King George on here, one with two snappers. Spewing. After all that, mate, you didn't get much attention. <laughs> What have we got here? Okay, 35 centimetre. I'll take that. First KG for the day. Oh. Pan around. 
Had a good bite. Oh, yeah, it could be another flatty. Oh, hang on. That's a huge goat fish. Red mullet. I've caught these in the past, and they're... Oh, that one's there. That one there, bent. That one there is... Oh, yeah, that one there is on. Oh, yeah, that's... that's Hopefully, target species. Oh. Here he comes. Here he comes. Oh, where's... Come on, get on board, you... <laughs> As I said, let's try the micro meat on light outfit. There is bait on now, I think. Whew, that's a goodie. That's a goodie. I've lost a couple of leaves overboard in the past. It's not a huge stonker, it's about 40 centimetres, but still KG target species. Here we come. Alrighty. It's that one. And the goat fish as well. So I'm starting to get a nice feed. Oh, that doesn't look good. A white. Just sitting on the bottom. It's moving. What have we got? Flathead and. Oh, well, we've got two flatheads. Alright. Bring that one there. Alright. Well, that's some good fillets there. Beautiful. Look up here. What have we got? Butterfish. Not good. Big juicy bait here too. I'd say that's a butterfish as well here. Hang on. This is more than a butterfish. It's more than a butterfish. Oh yeah. Yes. I think this is the uh oh, the fish I lost this morning. <laughs> so woo. again it's about a 35er. I've got that rig out there as a backup. Yeah, that's a better. That is a nice one. Yeah, 41 centimetres. Can't complain of that at all. You beauty. So you're really getting a nice feed. But right, so this is for the final catch. I started off with the the two squids. Then I've got this leather leather jacket. And then after, of course, the big mighty King George Whiting. Absolutely delicious fish. Another red mullet here. And a few flatties. So all in all, a beaut day. Let's go home for the cook up. Let's go. Okay, so on today's cook up, we're doing the goat fish. I did catch the King George whiting and the sand whiting and whatnot, but goat fish is for tonight. I caught another one too off camera, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> so, first thing I'm doing, something very different. I mean, cutting it down here is not different to what I used to do. But I'm actually going to be using, not that I've sponsored or nothing, but this is a goat beer. It's actually quite nice, I like this one. And I'm just using it for the, uh, <laughs> for the name of it. Because red mullet are also known as goat fish, mainly because of the whiskers down here under the chin. Absolutely underrated fish and highly recommended if you catch them, definitely bring it home and uh, consume it. The trick is to leave the liver in. That apparently gives a nice flavour, ocean flavour to the whole fish. Right, so I've got some self raisin flour, a bit of salt. Bit of oregano and a bit of the beer. Now it is a, a pale ale, so it's got it's quite a, a fruity flavour to it. It's not very intense, which is I, the way I like it. Almost a tempura mix, not nothing too heavy, because I'm actually going to do it whole. So I've got a frying pan, some olive oil. I don't want to deep fry, but I need a, a significant amount of oil. Right, let's 
let it warm up and just to spice it up put in just a bit of then later on to finish it off I want to make a little tiny micro sauce with these three remaining tomatoes and probably a bit of basil actually some basil here Alrighty. so I'm just going to lightly dust it in the flour the fish head and all these small fish always leave the head on there's a lot of flesh I mean not much but there's still just a lot of flavour right now this is meant to be a light mix but it's actually become quite thick Okay. Let's put that right over here. That looks great. It's almost gonna encase the fish and protect the flesh from the from the hot oil so it actually cooks it inside and steams it up. Cool. There you go, his whiskers moving around. Bit scary. It might be ready. Okay, so it's kind of um cooked a fair bit, so I'll just turn it down. almost, I wouldn't say burnt, it's braised looking. That's all right, you can always pick that out and eat the meat off from underneath that. As I said, it's shallow frying, I didn't want to deep fry it. And again, quite a bit more oil would have been good. This is quite a delicate fish. Now I can't poke it through because that crust is quite heavy. But I reckon it's pretty close to it. In fact, I'll take it off. Yeah, so that's a bit more better. And my, my fork goes right through it. Just have a little bit. Just, oh, squash this guys up. Right. Oh, it We're going just to squeeze the lemon. That's my little topping. Smells cute. A bit more lemon juice. How about that? How about that? Goatfish of olives. Oh, yum. That lemon's really true, terrific. Let's um put it on one of these plates and give it a shot. All right, let's grab the small one here. I'm just going to show you how you actually clean a whole fish when it's cooked. It's a lot easier to fill it and pry apart. Put the bone across the backbone and just lift. If it's cooked, everything stays intact. And look at that, definitely cooked. Of course, you're going to have rib bones out here, um, then the side bones along here too. But I love this because you can just pick at it, get rid of the bones. That's all yummy. Juicy crispiness. Yum. This backbone right here comes off. Put in the compost pile. The head I'll definitely eat. As I said, you got the rib cage here. It's no big deal. Then you got the side wings. You might have a few other little bones as well. But this top bit, it's really nice. Oh yeah, now I'm gonna grab this whole piece here right here. All right, so put in some of these olives, a bit of the tomato, a bit of the basil. Let's tuck in to the fish tucker. 
Right here. There you go. Oh my god. These olives and the lemon and the basil. It's different, but it's beautiful. Excuse the Indian etiquette. Absolute beautiful winner. Here's the flesh by itself. Yeah. Soft and delicate, the way it should be. Anyway, if you enjoyed this kind of fishing and cook up, make sure you hit the subscribe, give us a like and a comment. We'll see you next time doing petite. Take it easy. Not bad. Fish, taka, fish, taka, fish, taka, man. Fish, taka, fish, taka, the fish, taco man.